video today, I'm going to be teaching you a killer rockabilly ending lick. So without further ado, let me show you what I'm going to be teaching you. Hi friends and welcome to this rockabilly guitar lesson today. My name is Damian Bocci and welcome to my back room here in sunny Tampa Bay, Florida. Now when you're playing rockabilly guitar, it's important to have a bunch of stock endings. But this lesson I'm teaching you today is a little more advanced than the basic stock ending. And that's what makes this one so much fun to learn. All great songs have a great intro, a great solo, and a great outro. And since the outro is the last thing that your audience is going to hear, you always want to try to end with something memorable. Now today I'm teaching you this lick as an outro, and I'd like to demonstrate it for you one more time at a different angle. Check it out. Well, the rockabilly guitar. Or this lick could be played as an outro ending to a 12 bar blues solo. In fact, let me play you a quick example on how to play this ending lick at the end of a solo. To save time, I'm going to start on the 4 chord on bar 5 of a 12 bar blues. Check it out. In fact, you can even use this ending lick as the start to a 12 bar blues solo and then you jump into the 4 chord like this. Let me show you. Just like that. And you can even use this lick to start a song if you wanted to. Here, I'm going to just change something around a tiny bit and I'm going to add an F9 and E9 chord. was an intro to a song anyway. <laughs> but let's focus on this lick as an ending and you can expand yourself with it after you've got it down. Now I'm showing you this lick today in the key of A and I'm using notes from the A minor blues scale and the A major blues scale. I'm mixing them together if you will. And when you get to that very famous popular tag ending that we've all heard a million times before, all I'm simply doing there is playing notes simply from the A minor pentatonic scale but I'm adding in that G sharp, the little passing tone there, and then we end with the A69 chord. Now it's very important to mention that this lick is movable and you can play it in any key, you can play it anywhere along the fretboard. There we are, playing it in G. Now if you're going to play this ending lick with a rhythm section or bass player, they're going to need to know what to play behind you. So let me show you really quick what the bass player may play as you're playing that ending lick. Or the bass can follow along with the guitar plays. Now before we get started with me showing you how to play this ending lick, if you're enjoying this lesson, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out this video to be seen by others when you do that. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. This will keep you up to date on all my newest guitar lessons. And friends, if you'd like to learn more about rockabilly guitar and take your playing to the next level, I'd encourage you to pick up my full-length course called Ultimate Rockabilly Guitar. That's available at my website at DamianBachi.com. The course is available as a download or as a DVD. All the lessons come with PDF file guitar tabs and backing tracks. Ultimate Rockabilly Guitar friends will not disappoint. And now friends, let's learn this lick. I'm going to play it slowly one more time for you without the backing track, and then I'll play it again with on-screen tabs. Here we go. Well friends, that's all the time that we have for this lesson today. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. 
And if this lesson inspired you to play or if you got something out of it, please give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to take your rockabilly playing to the next level, I'd encourage you to pick up my full length course on rockabilly guitar that's available at my website. Now friends, before I let you go, I'd like to leave you with some inspiring words. I'm out here in Georgia today. I'm on the Pine Mountain Trail. I'm doing a 23 mile through hike. And today I hiked in, I did about 8.3 miles to get to this campsite. Here's my tent right over here. And uh, I'll be out here for three days and two nights. It's a nice fun little solo hike getaway. But what I wanna do is leave you with this great quote by Eleanor Roosevelt. And it goes like this. Life is what you make it, always has been, and always will be. And so with that, friends, I'm gonna say goodbye to you. Much love to you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon in another guitar lesson real soon. Take care, everybody. Oh, I just dropped my water. <laughs> it fell. I can't see it. Anyway, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.